What's up, gang? Overland Subaru International. Hey, gang, we're almost done. Wait a sec, I'm just gonna lower down a bit. Almost done. So we have this beautiful cubby there. I, I actually cut the hole finally. There's gonna be uh, here a place where you could actually close it. Uh, I just need to actually here uh, screw them up over there. The big cubby is coming. Here, I did a little mistake. Again, you could see here, it's actually, I put some foam over there because it was a bit uh, miscalculation, but what you want. Uh, uh, here, I'm just gonna put a wood, which is gonna be in round, like a quarter round. So that's gonna be nice. So that's the plate, right? So you could actually flip it. So that's nice, right? So uh, again, I was thinking, let me know what you think guys, because I saw something uh, where we could put something. Would you leave it here open or you would put another small cubby all the way here? So just to utilize that space over there, what you think? Let me know, let me know. Right now, that's the cubby, all right? Let's go see from the behind. All right, so that's the platform over here. I've got a little piece of wood, which is fit very snug. So yeah, what you think? Let me know. What's up guys? All right, so this is, I'm just gonna go on the other side, okay? So this is actually to correct your heel because into the Forester 2009, uh, there's a slope, so you need to correct that slope. I use actually three times three quarter up to zero in the middle, okay? So you got 42 inch in between, so you're arriving at zero over there. So if you're going see over here, so that's gonna be the place where you could actually normally maybe put your sandals and stuff like that, you know? Uh, not finished yet, as you can see underneath, uh, nothing is supporting that right now. But eventually that's gonna be done. It's just a uh, fine tuning. And you say, yeah, there's a big opening, big cubby there, huh? Uh, there's gonna be here a door to close with an inch. And I'm gonna put some uh, more, you know, uh, wood piece over here so it can flat on it. So, yeah. What do, uh, do you put in the spare wheels? Um, okay, yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good question. Right now, there's gonna be another, uh, there's gonna be another hole here, okay? So that's gonna be open. Underneath, Okay, I'm just gonna open it, give me two seconds. Right now, as a test, okay, I test it out. That's gonna be uh, the heater and the uh, water, the water jug. So, give me two seconds, it's pretty heavy. That thing is really heavy, give me two seconds. All right. So right now, there's nothing underneath right now, but that's gonna be open and that's the jug. That's a 20 liter or five gallon liter water. So that's gonna be there. And there's gonna be also maybe a ribastos or a heater, Japanese heater, something like that. And the water, I'm gonna put the jug actually in the other side, maybe two, I'm not sure, because this is uh, one kilo, is actually uh, one liter so it's one liter per kilo so it's pretty heavy uh, talking about water so not necessarily to fill right away but when you arrive on spot and I'm gonna put the cubby so wait a sec guys I'm just gonna put the big cubby might take a couple of minutes because it's inside and it's now starting to snow here so Bear with me, okay guys? 
give me two seconds. I'm just gonna put you on the uh, little, I forgot my tripod again, ask me why. I'm at my parents' place. All right, so let's put it, ooh la la. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me try a couple of things. This way, perfect, okay, give me two seconds. So you can't see it right now, uh, but also it looks nice. Let me just grab the, uh, the drawer. <laughs> All right, so that's the drawer, guys. A big piece. All right. So I'm just gonna fit that over there. Okay, there's two pieces over there, okay? So don't forget, I just put it for you guys so you could see it. My father has my table for lunch. That thing is actually, there's gonna be some lights. Uh, the water will come up to here. Okay, so there's gonna be a little, I don't know if I'm gonna put it here or up to here. This is actually an extra table, okay? Because typically that is actually opening and this is an extra table this is actually removable and what i could do is actually just put it this way and it fits super snug so it makes a beautiful platform where you could actually work that out and the drawer i just need again it's not finished at 100 percent so there's a lot of space utilized for maybe uh, a couple of things like uh, maybe the sink over there on the top. It's actually a foldable sink in plastic plus the the um, water on top. The jug, it comes right up. That thing is fixed. Okay, now it, it's not because... But the same type of things we have over there. Okay, so it's actually underneath the platform right here. And uh, behind the little drawer and that's what it is now that thing I could actually put it sideways over there oops sorry for the okay so close the cubby all right it looks pretty nice there's gonna be a door over there at the beginning I was thinking to leave it open but I think I'm gonna close it up because I just put a couple of things over there and it was flying around so I'm just gonna close it up so other thing guys very important okay it doesn't look like all right so fire extinguisher spray so it's a uh, ABC ABCK so this is actually right there and this is actually phosphorescent in the dark so that's pretty nice all right, so the other thing is actually that, okay? That's very nice because typically when I'm gonna have things over there, because as you can see right now, there, there's no support, but I wanna sit over there and the cubby typically will arrive roughly like that, okay? So it's actually the hole, like I said, is already done. It's just I didn't screw them. 
and this is actually the um, uh, th this is actually to put around right it's gonna go around there plus this one over here and it makes uh, if you want to eat inside or if I want to work my laptop and everything so that's what it is and uh, yeah uh, if you never seen that tire carrier right uh, this is another video I have on uh, my YouTube channel Overland Subaru International all right so yeah tire carrier over there homemade tire carrier so that's another I don't want to talk about this because it's already I already did a, a video like that but if you have any questions about that let me know this is actually the write up I'm just gonna make it very quick uh, I use quarter uh, heavy metal to actually build that this is actually I could remove it this is right up um, bolt not bolt but actually uh, weld on the uh, cross member of the hitch now at the beginning a lot of people like other company they use that to put the tire carrier in and everything and this is actually because this is a, a, a shaft which is going down and if there's a weight whatever I don't I don't like it very much so I use that this is really sturdy this is actually bolt to the frame and uh, very heavy I could actually stand on this no problem and uh, yeah this is actually to secure so when this is actually closed very quick I have to convert my subi to LG LPG gas so I could lose tire <laughs> space yes yes do it do it this is so nice when you get that thing over there you you never come back swear to God it looks super 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 nice and uh, yeah it's actually one of my friends who actually uh, we worked that out together and this is actually just to show you how how beefy it is so we made a hell bracket this goes on top of the uh, one quarter over there and this thing squeeze over there right so and you've got your uh, guy pin so that's what it is for that now next year maybe gonna sandblast it and uh, powder coat it so that's gonna be it uh, eventually maybe some uh, jerry cans whatever that is like gas jerry can and stuff like that but that's what it is right so how'd you like it guys comment below this is gonna be the full video build off will be on uh, YouTube so have a look check it out and I this is gonna be ready because uh, I'm going up north winter camping gonna use that and uh, we'll see how it goes yeah that's it thanks guys thanks very much for that I'm gonna let you go um, I need to actually continue that project it's not done yet so a couple of things we need to actually modify as this as an example we need to close it up uh, I have the the pieces but it's just a matter of time we need to actually get the latch and uh, yeah that's what it is take care guys if you have other ideas don't be scared uh, to actually tag me on uh, if you have any uh, build off of a Subaru uh show me around if you got some tire carrier or other ideas show me around because i want to see what's going which uh, uh camping with rooftop tent no i don't like uh, rooftop tent so far uh for myself i'm just gonna close that to show you um but on top i've got these uh, uh lights for the backup lights this is the cb antenna and I have these uh, crossbar now uh, for stealth camping as an example uh, rest areas and stuff like that that's gonna be the idea uh, now I have a tent on ground 
uh, to use. So this is actually for, let's say, long terms. Um, don't forget, I, I know like rooftop tent it is a, a big trend right now, but it's a lot of weight to put on top of your of your uh, uh, top. I, for myself, I'm not really a fan of that. And also, uh, when you think about it, and you're going into a trail, uh, it's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight on top. So it's actually rocking side to side and everything when you... So I know... I actually, uh, another another things I change on that, I, I many, like I said, uh, if you go on the YouTube, you uh, you could see it, but another change I did is actually, I, I actually make uh, King Spring um, beefier over there. So that's why the Subi doesn't sag that much anymore. So if I close that, so it doesn't sag uh, that much over there. So this make a super huge improvement. Um, now in front for the technology, uh, I could put my, uh, I'm just gonna close that. So I have my RAM mount over there. And uh, this is actually the iPad, which is going there. Um, so for nav, I use uh, Gaia GPS. Eventually the radio will be changed for another uh, screen I'm looking at for the Alpine one uh, or maybe Pioneer but I prefer Alpine they have a very good sound quality and everything so uh, I used to work in sound system back in the days so that's that's what it is um, so that's for the front uh, for myself oh yeah I forgot you might kind of like the idea all right so many people say oh where did you ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Give me a check. I forgot. I want to back off my... Uh... Oh, my God. There's a lot of things. Okay, so this is going to go... This... Sorry. Give me two sec. Ugh. Just trying to... Actually, I'm not used to everything right now. So, okay. That, so, that's closed. Just going to back off the seat. People ask me, Oh, man, where's your... Uh... Where's your, um, how'd you call uh, CB? Because uh, you, we can't really see it. And this is actually very, very uh, high and everything. So I'll show you. It's uh, very nice. A lot of shit over there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that. So let's back up that seats. All right. My goodness. A lot of noise. This is actually water bottles behind. Okay, so let's get some heat here. Ooh la la. And blue, because blue is actually not too bad for the eyes. I need to do some cleanup in my tr in the truck, okay? So this is an idea, okay? So most of the people didn't thought about that, but this is actually where the um, uh, CB is mount. So the good thing is it fit very no cutoff, nothing at all. This is actually, you could actually remove it. All the the wires are behind. And this is actually glued 3Ms over there, right? So this is very nice. You just actually squeeze it. And people say, oh, well, uh, you can't see uh, really uh, what type of, but look, in reality, it's very simple, right? So when you actually open, Okay, here in, the, in Canada, I don't know in US or other country, but here is actually mostly the 10 trucker use and everything, right? So this is the emergency one. So if I'm looking for my channel, let's say whatever, I'm at the 16, for example, for 4x4. This is another channels that guys uh, use. So for example, uh, you say, okay, I'm lost. You say nine plus one, I'm on the 10, right? So I don't even see it, but I, I don't care really. Now for the mic, okay, very simple. What I did, I actually passed a wire here uh, and it's actually a GoPro mount and I use Sorry, uh, angles, whatever that is, if I'm inverted, what so. Uh, but this is actually uh, a GoPro mount. 
and you put your mic over there again I didn't want to drill anything in case uh, if I want to change something whatsoever but that's the idea right so um, yeah so and I'll show you with the uh, tablet I'm just gonna actually bear with me just a sec I said iPad, yeah, okay. Some people say, oh, it's not an iPad, no, 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 no. No, not really. It's actually uh, Huawei, is that it? I don't like that company, but it came with the package I got with my cell phone, so I don't really care. Freebie, my friend, freebie. I got the phone plus the uh, Bluetooth, so that's, that's what it is. So, uh so that's i'm using gaia gaia gps so uh that's perfect for that and as battery i'll show you in front so that's you got the idea anyways i'm just gonna turn off the i'll show you uh battery i'm uh, using an agm battery I'll, only one for now i don't think i need uh check okay so I got these uh, four spot right there these are very 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 bright I didn't actually change yet these uh, these ones I'm planning to put ba uh, Baja design squadron uh, pro series over there uh, some people like to put some uh, some over here for myself you know I don't know like I know like if mines are in angle right so ditch lights this is actually what you need basically so uh, if you pitch all the lights in front well yeah okay you're gonna see a little bit more but in reality the the the, the beam of the lights actually one goes here the other one cross the other ones and everything so in reality you're using a lot of lights towards the same place to have more space more lights but at the end that's uh, you know i'm using that also for uh, ditch lights so a point on the side and these two more in in center so over there the motor is stuck pretty dirty <laughs> but that's the uh that's the north star battery i have here uh some people ask me about the north star battery um the uh pulse uh, it's actually a, a 1,400 amps coal crank. They say 740 and uh, minutes uh, to, to reserve 115. So honestly, I've been all day working on the car uh, and radio open and I could crane that car right away. So this battery is just a monster. It's $500, but it's worth it. Warranty five years. North Star, thank you very much for that. I love that battery. I'm not sponsored by them, but I love that battery. It's just amazing. I know, like, I had Odyssey. People told me about Odyssey uh, stuff, but, pff, yeah, that one is very nice. So, tires, uh, as you know, uh, BF Goodrich KO2s, uh, 215, 70, 16, uh, this is the premium version, uh, my, my, my truck, uh, car, whatever I call it, a truck. Uh, so anyway, uh, so I'm using the 16-inch. Um, I still have the 17-inch, which comes with it. Never used it, so I actually swapped it straight away. Uh, I know some people like to put some spacer. Um, south... Um, south... <laughs> um, I'm 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 looking for my word, but uh, a one inch uh, spacer, it looks nice, but it's I, I, maybe I was thinking about it, but not sure yet. Uh, so that's that's what it is, guys. I hope uh, you like it. Uh, if you want any stickers, by the way, um, you could ask me over there. I could ship it to you guys. Um, this is the sticker I have for you guys. Um, 
This is actually $10 Canadian. So if you want to support me, this is on Patreon. So that's the easy way to do it. Uh, so that's, that's what it is. And I have uh, this one also. If you don't like the color ones, I have the white one, which is actually a small, same, same size. This one is actually a bigger, big one for my car. But uh, yeah, um, I have the same one for, uh, for smaller version. So this one is actually uh, $10 also Canadian if you want to support that. So let me know if you have any questions for the complete build off. That's going to be uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, so uh, I hope you did like it. The little review I did today. Pretty cold, but uh, that's what it is. It's not finished yet. So cheers, guys.